right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord's Word, an edifying lesson to the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. But before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and other bishops, O Great Millstone. Who still out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth, according to the Bible, and her well, the Shalawam, La Bahoyam, Wa Barakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashimon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. Let's see here. This is the book of Jeremiah 4, verse 22, just flowing through the Spirit, not written down. It says, For my people is foolish. Now, who is the Lord's people? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, beginning with those that know that they're Israelites, okay, but being hypocrites and, and wicked behind closed doors and on camera, man, okay? They're a bunch of fools, man. It says, um, let's see, this, this is a Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. As a matter of fact, um, uh, my family, let me keep reading. It says, they are sodish children. In other words, sodish means stupid. Or in my Bible, it says uh, senseless. Okay? The, the definition of the word senseless is not at all reasonable or with no good or useful purpose. And that's the two-thirds of our people. That's the majority of our people, man. That's why the scripture says in the Apocrypha, let the multitude perish then that was born in vain, man. Their life was just to be uh, 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 a, a part of the two thirds club and be destroyed by Yahweh by Shemel shall to be judged by the Lord, man. Okay, it says they are sadist children. They don't got no. They don't got no. <coughs> excuse me, no sense. They don't fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It says that they are sadist children. They have none understanding. Right? They don't got no understanding of the scriptures. Why? Because they don't fear the Lord. See, that's where it all starts when you fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Who the world are you going to call God and Jesus Christ? You're going to understand the scriptures because he's going to unlock your understanding to understand his word, man. But you want to know why the majority of our people don't understand these scriptures? Because they don't fear you, how about Shimei, how about Shai? And once again, beginning with those that know that they're Israelites, okay? But that's where the elevator stops at, okay? You know how you get on the elevator, okay? And then it's, it's just, uh, it, it, you close the door and you go up one level. That That's all it goes to, man. Okay, and it just gets stuck from there. It just gets stagnant from there. It says, um, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, right? Our people are wise to do evil, and they know that they're doing wickedness, man. All right? Talking about we can eat pork, you know what I'm saying? The laws are done away with. You know, you can do it up the butt. You can do your woman up the butt. You can have sex on the Sabbath. The name of the Lord don't matter. They say that the MOTB is sleeping with a so-called white woman. It's John 3.16. It's sin. It's an embargo. They know what they're doing, man. Okay? But you have about Shemel Shai got that demon on him to, to make him go off, man. It says they are wise to do evil, right? They're skillful. They're crafty, okay, when it comes to wickedness. All right? I remember the brother Ara said this a while back. He says our people uh, didn't even graduate middle school. But yeah, they can tell you the exact ounce in uh measurement of how to cook up these D R U G S S, man. You know, they can tell you the exact measurement of how to pack it, how to sell it, and how to cook it. All right, but these niggas don't got a third or a fifth grade education, man, or they ain't graduate middle school. See, how people are wise to do the wickedness. They're clever when it comes to doing wickedness, but when it comes to the scriptures, oh, that's the so-called white man's book. Okay, um. Uh, uh, you know, the, the King James was a, a, a PED, you know, O, you know, he was a homo, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got no understanding of the knowledge and the wisdom understanding of the Bible, man. Why? Because you have a Bashim Shah has blinded them. So now, let's go from there. Um, matter of fact, let's go to Ezekiel. Like I said, this is, I'm just flowing through the spirit. It ain't going to be a long lesson. The Lord wanted me to bring this out through the spirit. This is the book of Ezekiel 14 and 9. It says, and if the prophet, these leaders, right, be deceived when they have spoken a thing, which is a lie, 
I, Yahweh Bashim, how shall have deceived that prophet? Yeah, so when they say the laws are done away with, we can eat whatever we want. The name of the Lord don't matter. Um, the law, statutes, commandments are done away with. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, they just, these, these, these niggas are just waxing worse and worse, man. And who put that spirit on them? Yahweh Bashim, how shall? As a matter of fact, the title of this lesson might be uh, called, uh, That's Why It's a Fearful Thing, man. All right, to piss the Lord off, you know, or to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Being butt out of your mind, that's a scary and fearful thing. That's a scary sight, man. You know, because the Lord could have did that to either, uh, it could have did that to us, but the Lord has a stable with the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of these scriptures that we can't thank the Lord enough. You know, beginning with our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, because these people are fin niche. They are through. They are but out of their minds. So back in Ezekiel 14 and 9, and if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, how the Lord have deceived that prophet, right? The Lord gave the, the order to that angel on the left-hand side, or angels, you know what I'm saying? Because these people got legion on them to, to plague their mind, to have a house party in their minds, man. That's why they're, they're winging it. Okay, they they they're just they just pulling, you know, lies out they ass, man, you know, and try to use the scriptures to back it up. But guess what? It ain't connecting. Like Big Bro say uh, uh, last Saturday, the, the 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 puzzle pieces ain't connecting, man. You know, it says, and I will stretch out my hand upon him or her, and I will destroy him or her from the midst of my people Israel. Right, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. So you gonna read what you sow. Like Eloi Howard Shah says, he says, every idle word that men shall speak or women, they're going to give account thereof in the day of judgment. So prepare to have a gruesome, brutal, torturous uh, judgment coming your way of those that don't repent. Now let's go. Let's matter of fact, let's go to Jeremiah 5. Like I said, just flowing, just flowing. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 5. Let's see. Verse 23. This is Jeremiah 5 verse 23. For this people have a revolting, which goes in the stubborn and rebellious heart. Now, read me the back, bell meaning war. Meaning our people are, are always warned against Yahweh by Shema and Shah in their minds. And then they do it through their physical actions, man. Purposely. It says uh, it has a, have a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone, right? Meaning they're, they're through. Okay, through, 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 man. As a matter of fact, that word gone go back that word gone goes back to the Hebrew word Yalak. Yalak. It says to go away. It says to die spiritually. Now let's get what Proverbs 21 and uh, 16 says, right? This is the book of Proverbs 21 and 16. This is Proverbs 21 and 16, because it says to die spiritually, right? It says the man, right? The Israelite man or woman. That wandereth out of the way of understanding of the truth of the Bible. It says, shall remain in the congregation of the dead, right? Which is these heathen nations. So you want to think that they're heathen nations. You think it's okay to eat whatever you want, do whatever you want, say whatever you want. Well, we're prepared for judgment with these heathen nations then, man. The two-thirds of our people, if you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, that want to be like the heathen nations, okay, well, you're going to receive judgment of the heathen nations on this side, man. You're all going to be destroyed together, all right? Though hands join the hand, the wicked should not be unpunished. So it's all good. It's all good. We we are, everybody's in the hands of Yahweh by Shibi Hawashai, but it's just, a, it's a scary and fearful thing, man. You know, that's why we do to the best of our abilities to, you know, do what we got to do to serve Yahweh by Shem Shah to the best of our abilities and fear and sincerity of heart. Uh, this is the book of Second Thessalonians. Let's see. This is the book of Second Thessalonians 2, verse 11. It says, And for this cause, yeah, and for this cause, Yahweh by Shem Shah shall send them strong delusion, right? A powerful, it says, powerfully affecting the mind or senses, which pretty much are demons, man. Yahweh by Shema Shah is gonna put a high level demon in their minds that they should believe a lie, man. All right, think of what they're saying. They think what they're saying is the truth. You know, they think they're intelligent and and and, and deep in what they're saying, but really they're going way the hell left, man. Okay, they're going way left. They just straight up winking it. But Yahweh by Shema Shah got them in that mind state, right? Verse twelve. 
It says that they all might be damned, right? Condemned, man, accursed, that believe not the truth, right? Yeah, when we bring out scriptures, uh, uh, rebuking or correcting, and we're bringing out 100% truth according to the Bible, those that don't want to hear, well, you're just going to be destroyed, man, all right? Because those that don't hear this word, you're already cursed already, you're already marred. So you just prepare, just get prepared for judgment. And you better take it like a man and a woman too, all right? It says, uh, this is 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 12, that they all might be damned that believe not the truth, but had pleasure in our righteousness. Yeah, man, man, you see that video, you know what I'm saying, uh, of that port, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is this my favorite port, this is my favorite ham, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or the chip, the chip, you know what I'm saying, all that madness, man. You know, they had pleasure in doing that. They had pleasure in saying that. You know, like big bro, I always say through the spirit, probably y'all about Shima Shah, they wicked as hell on camera. How much more when they off camera, man? That's why the Lord is about to bring some severe, harsome, gruesome judgment upon those that know that they're Israelites, but being hypocrites, man, which is an act they're pretending. So don't worry, we don't get mad, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, 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 y'all about Shima Shah gonna make a move very soon, so. Hey, we understand this is a corner prophecy. The scripture says, Lord Yahweh shall say to himself, that many false prophets shall rise up, saying, I am Hamashiach and shall deceive many. That's of not that's of not the elect, man. That's who they're gonna deceive, the two thirds, man. Let me see here. Um, matter of fact, since I quoted Romans, let me get Romans. This is Romans eleven. I'll probably close it out with this. Cause like I said, this is nothing written down. This is open form pretty much this is the book of romans 11 verse 7 what then israel which is a people force of place it says have not attained that which you seek for the 100 percent truth or the truth according to the bible but the election the election the elect have obtained it the chosen okay the best of his class the israel you have about shimel shah have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, right? You see that the Lord blinded your minds for you not understanding these scriptures and apply these scriptures so the Lord can destroy you, man. Somebody got to play the role of the two-thirds. We just glad that Lord's willing. It ain't us, man. You know, we want to be a part of the elect. That's, that's, the Lord's willing. That's our part in the movie. But those that play the role of the two-thirds, hey, you can have it. You can have that role, you know? So, hey, with that, Lord's when this lesson was edifying. And like the scripture says on the screen, man, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. They don't got the spirit of the hour by Shema Shah in them. So, therefore, the Lord plaguing them with demons so the Lord's going, so the Lord can destroy them, man. Because you ain't got no clothes for your sins. You ain't got no excuse. You know right from wrong according to the Bible. But, hey. So like I said, somebody got to play the role of the two-thirds. Lord's willing, it ain't us. So hey, with that, Lord's willing, until next time I say Shalom, Lord's willing.